I work in diagnostic neuroradiology here at Fondation Rothschild. It's a very specialized tertiary care hospital for neuro, eye, and head and neck diseases. And we also deal with acute conditions like stroke and neurological or eye emergencies. We now have four MRI scanners, including two in Genialition 3T systems. There's a lot of demand for MRI, so we needed to increase capacity. We chose Ingenialition because it's a high-end system. It promised great ROI and excellent quality, but with short acquisition times, which was a priority for us. In a center like ours, where we perform lots of scans, fast exams, short sequences, and efficient workflows are very important. We use FlexTrack trolley with Ingenialition, so we can set patients up in a separate room, which is more efficient and saves time in the scanning room. We use compressed sense or multiband sense in almost every sequence. This is great for us as it lets us reduce scan time but maintain high quality. For example, and this is remarkable, some of our complex high resolution examination used to last 40 minutes. Brain tumor classification and intra and extracranial wall imaging. Now we've cut this to 30 minutes so we can see more patients in a day. We can also make use of the time that we saved to add on more detailed sequence to some of our routine examinations. For example, in patients with suspected ischemic disease of the eye or optic nerve, we add an isotropic 500 micron black blood imaging. This helps us confidently diagnose in patients with giant cell arteritis. With this, we no longer need to do a biopsy when GCA is ruled out by the MRI scan, and the patient can go home the same day. In the past, they would have stayed in hospital for a week to wait and see if the biopsy was negative. We gained a lot of time in our stroke protocols with compressed sense, so we've been able to add ASL perfusion to routine exams when diffusion is negative. Even in confirmed ischemic strokes, where we must move forward to the treatment fast, we can now do supraaortic vessels and susceptibility-weighted imaging, because each sequence lasts less than a minute. This really helps us gain insights and could potentially help us improve the outcome for the patient. There's only a limited number of sequences where you can't use compressed sense, like uh, diffusion imaging, for example. For this, we use multiband sense so we can also accelerate them. For example, we do high resolution diffusion tensor in 15 directions. This is a sequence we now use a lot because we feel it provides a high level of confidence, in particular for small ischemic lesions. For regular diffusion, I think we improved the voxel size by uh, 0.2 mm from what we had before, while we can keep using B2000 values that gives us more information than B1000 on 3T. Since scan times are shorter, we can see more patients per day. We can also invest this additional time in spatial resolution or add sequences to give us more diagnostic confidence. I'd say overall image quality for neuro cases on Ingenialition is very robust, so we're very pleased with our choice.